Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Igo Rar and welcome to Let's Araxium, and today we're going to be taking a look at two weapons, the T5 AMC and the HC1 Cougar, both of which are long range carbines available to the Terran Republic. Now this is very unusual for me, but I feel that I need to issue a trigger warning for Terran Republic players watching this video. At certain points I'm going to talk about very sensitive topics like burst firing and letting off the trigger, but don't, don't panic though, don't panic, because my channel is a safe place. The only thing you need to worry about here is bad editing, bad spelling, um, a recurring joke about stalking Rel and sending him anthrax, uh, also me being an abusive husband to Grumpus Prime, and uh, oh, being contractually obligated to mention the Pulse RC every single time I make a carbine video. But that's about it, other than that safe place. Anyways, enough with the rambling, let's look at the stats. Starting off with the T5 AMC, it has a fire rate of 652 rounds per minute with a damage model of 143 damage up to 10 meters, dropping off to 112 damage at 60 meters. As where the Cougar has a fire rate of 550 rounds per minute with a damage model of 167 damage up to 10 meters, dropping off to 125 damage at 70 meters. They share identical times to kill of 0.55 seconds short, but the AMC jumps a little bit ahead in the longer ranges with a time to kill of 0.75 seconds versus the Cougar's 0.77 seconds. Next is the magazine size of 40 rounds with a reload speed of 2.3 seconds short and 3.1 seconds long with a velocity of 570 meters per second for the AMC. For the Cougar, we have a magazine size of 35 rounds with a reload speed of 2 seconds short and 2.8 seconds for a long reload, with a velocity of 520 meters per second. When it comes to attachments, I would recommend anything and everything that increases how effective you can be at range. Forward grips are an absolute must, compensators are recommended, and when it comes to the use of high velocity ammo, I recommend it to just about anybody. The high velocity ammo on the AMC and the Cougar increase their velocities by about 15% rather than the typical 5% increase that most other weapons get. It brings the T5 AMC's velocity to 650 meters per second and the Cougar's velocity to 600 meters per second and that 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 is just stupidly high velocity for a carbine and trust me on that one because I know a thing or two about being stupidly high. So that brings us to our final question, are either of these weapons worth your time, and the answer is yes. The fact that I actually took the time to Araxi and both these weapons should say something about their quality. Between the two of them, I've spent 20 plus hours of usage, so either there's something I like about them, or I'm severely mentally ill. Actually, now that I think about it, both those answers are equally as likely. So, um, yeah, let's just move on from that comment. So what makes both of these weapons so good, and why have I chosen to review both of them at the same time? Well, let's answer the easy question first, why both weapons in one video, and I need to make this very clear. It is not a contest like the Track 5 and the Jaguar video was. The T5 AMC and the Cougar are very similar in the same way a masseuse and a hooker are very similar. Both involve paying a woman money to make you feel good, only it just plays out in much different ways. Or a man, we don't judge here. Making two different videos about each weapon feels kind of redundant because to fully review one weapon you need to look at the other. The AMC and the Cougar have a very interesting dynamic where the shortcomings of one weapon are sort of the strengths of the other. Between the two of them, the T5 AMC is without a doubt the more general purpose of the two weapons. A higher rate of fire but lower damage per shot is an extremely unusual trait for longer range carbines, but it does come with its perks. First of all, it keeps the weapon flexible. Between having the highest velocity out of any carbine in the game, a highly consistent recoil pattern, a hip fire that's on par with most other TR carbines, it can fit the bill for most situations. But let's not lose sight of what it's meant for here, it is a flexible mid to long range carbine. And this does have its drawbacks. For the flexibility that higher rate of fire and lower damage offers, this weapon does take a pretty substantial hit when it comes to, trigger warning, burst firing. Putting less damage into a short burst is a disadvantage it clearly has over the Cougar. That's not to say it's worthless, but by the time I've managed to down a heavy assault at range with the AMC, I've put so many bullets into my target that all that should be left of his corpse is his spinal cord and whatever the hell they ate for breakfast. 
Unless it was a VS Heavy Assault, then all that should be left of their corpse is like their spinal cord and daily nutritional suppository. Or do we not use those anymore? I can't remember, It's it's been so long since I've been on VS. I wonder what S3X1's doing nowadays. Probably setting the new shitpost meta on the Connery subreddit. Hmm. Anyways, moving on. The second issue is the gun's recoil pattern. The only thing holding back the AMC from being a truly outstanding carbine is its horizontal recoil. With an angle of 20 degrees, this weapon pulls really hard to the right. When your target is moving away or towards you, this shouldn't be much of an issue, but when your target is moving along your horizontal axis, I mean, just dear God, it can be a nightmare to hit your target. Even after a thousand kills, high ADS weapons still have me missing by in embarrassing amount sometimes. Criticizing a TR weapon for having too much horizontal recoil is like criticizing someone with Alzheimer's for being forgetful, I know, but nevertheless you will find this to be an issue. I could go in depth and explain why compensating for this exactly is incredibly difficult, but I'm saving that for a very special video. Anyways, moving on to the Cougar. Just like the AMC, the Cougar performs well in the mid to long ranges, but unlike the AMC, the Cougar is by no means flexible. Aim down sights, burst your shots, kill your target, pray to Daka, and zapped onto with no exceptions! This carbine definitely strays the farthest from the typical need more bullets TR design philosophy. Not only that, but the Cougar is the only carbine in the Terran Republic's arsenal that recoils towards the left. So between low fire rate and the fact that it leans towards the left, I've only come to the conclusion that whoever is responsible for creating the Cougar has been executed for treason. When compared to the AMC, the Cougar is definitely a bit more restricted in what it's good at, but when it comes to long range bursting, it is undoubtedly the better choice. The one major downside that this weapon has though is its velocity. 520 meters per second isn't amazing, but it's not great. As a side note though, the Cougar is pretty much a retextured Razor, an NC carbine. The only difference between the two is 5 extra rounds per magazine and 40 less velocity and a little bit longer reload speed on the Cougar. Not that it has anything to do with the AMC or Cougar comparison, I just find it interesting at what 5 extra rounds per magazine is valued at when it comes to planet side weapon design. <laughs> Spoilers, it's overvalued. Overall, the AMC and the Cougar are among the best long-range carbines available to the Terran Republic. And when it comes to my personal favorite between the two, I do prefer the T5 AMC. The low damage model and high fire rate is something that really does stand out amongst all the other carbines in the game. It's just a damn shame that the horizontal recoil pulls this weapon back as hard as it does, and is really the only major factor holding this weapon back from being one of my favorite carbines in the game. In fact, there are a lot of little gripes about TR weapons I have in general like this, but I'm saving all of that for a very special video. Anyways guys, that's it for this time. My name's Igo Rar, and I'm gonna go Araxium some other shiny guns. I'll see you next time. Oh, okay.